that's only eight moves for the last two pairs and the last layer. How is that possible? <laughs> you, you, you. I forgot how to do my intro. It has been too long. <laughs> Yo, let's talk about luck today. We all get lucky sometimes, and I don't know about you guys, but usually when I get lucky in a solve, whether I get a last layer skip or a really easy double X cross, I always mess up something in my souls. But the opposite happened to a great friend of mine, Bruno, aka the national record holder here in Belgium, which is the most important record you can have, right? He got himself a 3.39 PB single. That's sub world record. Now, if that would happen to Max or Felix, my reaction would be, hey, that's cool. But when I realized that my friend whose previous PB was 4.9, got a 3.39, my reaction was more like, oh, I need to see that solution. I've never done a reconstruction before on this channel, but I guess this one deserves one. So let's find out how he was able to get a time faster than the world record. And today we'll be using... Tengyang version 2. If you want to buy yourself a cube just like this one, use discount code CUBE and on the cubicle.com to get huge discount. Alright, so here's a scramble and good news to all my white cross solvers out there because he did the scramble with white cross. So the cross pieces are here, here, here and here. And you may have noticed that if we just insert the green and orange piece, that we have this 2x2 two two block. But he didn't do that straight away. First of all, he just aligned the red cross piece, like so. Then he made the block, inserted the red cross piece. And whilst he was doing that, he was keeping track of these two pieces for the second pair. But when we insert the blue piece, like so, this piece will be in the bottom layer. So instead of doing that, he just did a U prime, then inserted the blue piece, and then just did a D prime. It's a pretty okay X cross, but we also kept track of the second pair, which is just this. But watch what happens next. Instead of inserting this pair like a normal person would, just like this, Bruno is a very smart man and he noticed that if he would insert this pair using Sledgehammer, you would orient all the edges. But not only that, a three mover into a last layer skip. That's only eight moves for the last two pairs and the last layer. How is that possible? So one more time a bit faster, lining the red cross piece, building the block, last cross piece, this pair, rotate sledge, and then insane last layer skip. That's 23 moves. He did 6.7 turns per second on this solve, which resulted in a 3.39 second solve. Now, before you guys go, I want to do something super fun next video, and I need your help. I want you to post your luckiest scramble you've ever had, whether it is your PB scramble, just a very lucky one, or a crazy cool execution you choose. Just comment it down below. If you just have the scramble, that's cool, but if you can reconstruct it as well, that would be awesome. I'm going to go over some of them in the next video, including my most insane solve I've ever done. It is a pretty interesting solve, so I hope I see you in the next video. In the meantime, enjoy one of my other videos, like BAM! This one right here. All right, I guess I will see you in the next video. Ciao.